And Google has tried to work pretty conscientiously on one hand about the privacy issues, but they always have this gap uh, that leads them to, to, to problems. Most recently, uh, they had a, a product, a social product called Buzz. And you know, it was a product where, you know, based on you know, your email contacts, a little social network would form and you could share information with them, uh, like the way you do with, with uh, Twitter and, you know, or maybe share on Facebook. And they tested it internally and people really liked it. And one feature that they thought was great was that your social network came up instantly instead of you having to painstakingly say, gee, I, can I invite this person to be in my network? Can I invite that person? Because you know, Google figured, hey, anyone you email with, you'll probably want to have in your social network. Uh, and what they didn't realize was that when they tested it internally, there was no problem with that because there, you know, who cares? Everyone knows that people in Google communicate with each other, but they failed to understand that when it was out in the wild, you know, the world, you don't want everyone to know who else you're talking to. Uh, and that, that was you know, uh, something that uh, shocked Google when it came out, that people complained. And some people had some really valid complaints. There were people who said, well, my, my ex-boyfriend now you know, sees who I'm in contact with, and, and, and he's part of my social network, and, you know, and, and seeing other people. And uh, they had to change that very, very quickly. Actually, there was someone who worked with the government, and you know, people were able to uh, uh, get hold of his contacts through the Freedom Information Act and, and see who he was in, 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 in contact with. And, and he had to uh, apologize for that. He got a, a slap on the wrist for that. Uh, Google fixed that, but the product was so deeply hurt that that was really the end of, of that, that uh, project of uh, Buzz, and now we have to wait for uh, Google's next big move in, in the, the social initiative. So uh, I, Google, you know, though I was actually able to sit on one of their privacy councils, and it was fascinating because Google, like a lot of other companies, has to grapple with a big issue on the internet is that information becomes much more discoverable than it was before so much was put on, on, on the network there. And the uh, particular uh, session of this uh, privacy council uh, that Google has, which pulls together uh, executives in different areas, uh, both in policy and some engineering, and their chief economist uh, that sits in on that, and they look at different products, and they look at the um, uh, privacy implications. And the day I sat in, they were looking at a product uh, that was a feature of this thing called Google Latitude, which tracks where you are. Now this does this with people's permission. They have to opt in there. And this particular feature they were looking at was something that allowed people to keep a permanent history of everywhere they went. And the engineer proudly showed this, uh, you know, the way it worked. And it said, look, here, here's my, all my peregrinations from the past week. And you, know, you could see a track. He loved, but they called them breadcrumbs everywhere he went. And you know, one of the guys who was one of the executives of, of Google's privacy, he almost had a heart attack looking at this. Uh, but the engineer was saying, wait a minute, people want to do this. This is something that people can opt into. To. And it, it, it was a sort of a generational thing going on within this discussion. And they ultimately decided that they would OK the project, but they would give numerous warnings that you know before you signed up for it, several things would come up. You'd have to click, yes, I want to do this. Yes, I want to do this. And every couple of weeks, you'd get another one saying, you know, we are tracking you. You know, you know this, don't you? And you know, so just, just to keep that up. And it was interesting because when they came out with that, that product, uh, there was no squall. No one complained about it. And Larry Page uh, once told me, he said, you know, it's impossible for us to predict which products are going to cause some sort of privacy flap. Uh, you know, sometimes the worst ones really don't, and sometimes ones which you know have you know negligible uh, privacy implications turn out to be a, a big flap there. So Google's still trying to figure that out. Mm -hmm.